then he threw the knife and hit him right in the forehead. And he was still alive and he was walking around with a butter knife in his forehead. <laughs> and his friends were like, what's happening? What's going on? It must have been a one in a million shot. I hit him exactly where there was no damage. I just thought you were losing your touch, but that was hilarious. <laughs> a nice shot with your pistol, by the way. You hit that part of the bridge just right. It completely buckled, took out at least five men. What can I say? I'm a little badass. <laughs> what a successful day. I haven't had such an amusing day in a while. For a little guy, I'm actually quite impressed with Bokchan. He's grown so much. Well, not physically. I brought him up well. To think all of this will end soon. I am quite hungry, though. Hey, butler. Maybe we should engrave the bullets with my name on it. And then when thugs pull them out of their own kind, they will know that they were finished off by that posh lad named Ciel. <laughs> what a wicked sense of humor. And butler. I like it when he calls me that. I like my job. I wonder if I'll be a butler in my next contract. Maybe I can hold out a bit longer. I can keep him around, snack on the odd soul here and there. I never thought I'd think this, but I'm actually really interested to see what he'll be like in a couple of years. What kind of man he'll end up turning into. Your hair is getting quite long, little master. Is it? Cut it in the morning? Of course. There's honey in it. You're one hell of a butler. <laughs> that is my line. Night, Sebastian. Good night, young master. Sweet dreams. Young master, it's time to get up. Mm. I've brought your favourite breakfast, tea and toast. What would you like to wear today? A bunch of blue outfit. I think it would be excellent for today. No? All right, I guess the young master would like to wear his robin dress. I thought you burned it. Why would I burn such a beautiful dress? There are fond memories associated with it. Beautiful dancing memories. Did you not sleep well last night? I didn't sense you wake. Are you not feeling well? Is there something? Go away, no. you Sebastian. I'm tired. You're not ill. There's nothing wrong with you. I'm tired. Just let me sleep. You know, as the head Butler of the Phantom High family, it is my duty to make sure that you are doing your duty to the Queen as her watchdog. You cannot do that from bed, can you? You're the only butler of the Phantom High household. I'm going to give you to the count of three to get out of this bed. One. Two. Three. Four. You've left me with no choice whatsoever. Sebastian, what the hell? Now that you are awake, I recommend that you stay up and get dressed. Your breakfast is probably cold by now, but enjoy it anyway. I couldn't drown! In that small amount of water, really. It can happen. Oh yes, to someone as fragile as you. <sighs> Stand up straight. I can't cut your hair when you're slouching like a peasant. I don't want my hair cut. What? I don't want my hair cut. Yes, but why? I like it long. Lizzie likes it long. Lizzie? My fiance. I'm aware of who she is, but since when does her opinion matter in the length of your hair? Doesn't. I'm confused. You wouldn't understand. Prepare Levensies, I'm quite famished. You just ate. What just happened? Then he just up and left, telling me not to worry about it. Well, I'm worried now. I don't know why he's acting so strange. I don't know. Might be his age. I mean, when we were young, my brother rebelled like crazy. I... 
wanted to be a chef, our parents wanted us to join the army, he wanted to explore new worlds like North and South America. I, being the good son, actually joined the army. <sighs> Did your brother discover new lands? No, he got shot by a cowboy. <gasps> Rebel, you say? Well, yeah. Don't you remember? Sleeping in, staying up late, chasing the girls around. Or were the girls chasing you, Sebastian? Of course, it's just a... so long ago that I forgot. Really? I don't know how. You don't look to be more than, like, 30. Yes, well, looks can be deceiving. Wait, how did your brother get shot by a cowboy? Did they have hooves? These kids and their crazy imaginations, right? I'm 47. What are you eating? Skittles. What is this? Skills are hardly an appropriate meal for a growing young boy. And on a paper plate, no less. I hate you, Sebastian! Bon! Pour me some gin, will you? Uh, is Mr. Sebastian okay with that? Mr. Sebastian. Is Mr. Sebastian the master of the house? Is Mr. Sebastian my father? Must you okay everything with Mr. Sebastian before I order you to do something? Do you ask Mr. Sebastian if it's okay to wipe your bum? If Mr. Sebastian ordered you to jump off a bridge, would you do it? Uh, I feel like the correct answer is no. And if I ordered you to jump off a bridge, would you do it? Absolutely. I mean, if I survived the first time, I'd probably do it again. Good. Now pour me some gin. Alright. Never having kids, not ever, no way. This is water! Shit. Bod! Young master. Are you losing your trousers? What? Do you need a belt? Please don't tell me that your trousers are too big with all the food that I've been feeding you. No. It's comfy. Comfortable? That does not look comfortable. Oh. Is this some kind of teenage thing? Pull up your trousers. No. I could pull down your trousers so easily right now. I could fire you so easily right now. I could pull down your trousers and eat your soul so easily. What is the point of being called sporadic writer if you don't even write? Oh, I cannot believe I am doing this. It's not going to be able to help either way. <coughs> Ooh, that's a nasty fall, don't darling. Kill me. <laughs> so, now that you're half dead, I'm going to finish the job with my little death sights. Oh my god, who's calling me? I hope I don't have to cover a shift. Oh my god. 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 You don't know how important this is. Oh my god. Okay. I have to answer. Shh. How's my hair? Oh, I can't see it. Hello, Grill speaking. Hello, Grill. Sebastian. To what do I owe the pleasure of hearing your lovely voice, darling? Are you finally confessing your love for me? I'm actually having problems. What kind of problems, darling? Are we playing doctor? It's my bop, Jenny. Grell, listen to me, please. Okay, darling, I'm all yours. I'm going to die! <laughs> On second thought, BRB, sweetie. Okay, darling, now I'm all yours, and I mean that literally. I believe the young master might be turning into a teenager. Darling, that's what humans do.
I'm aware, but I don't know how to deal with it. You just have to tell them who's boss. Like, for the most part, they're gonna do the complete opposite of what you tell them to do. But it's hard. Darling, are we talking about teenagers or a completely different thing? I'm just not sure what to do. There's this whole status thing. I am his butler. I have to do what he tells me to do. Oh, God. Can we make a contract? No. I just don't know what to do. Okay, honey. Listen to me. You know what you are, right? A butler. A demon, darling. A big, scary, soul-eating monster. Now, what you're gonna do is... You're gonna go up to that raging, hormoned little boy. All right. You're going to grab him by the neck. Okay. And you're gonna squeeze the life out of him. And then you're gonna come back to my place and we're gonna make sweet, sweet love all night long. Never mind. I thought you might be able to help. Goodbye, Ro. Wait, Sebastian, wait. Oh, he hung up. That was so thrilling. My lord. Well, that, what is this? Warm milk and honey. <coughs> warm milk and honey? Especially it's been years since I've drank warm milk and honey. You love warm milk and honey. Not anymore. Haven't you been paying attention? I bet if I had made a contract with Claude, he would have paid way more attention than you. I don't like warm milk and honey anymore. Give me something more adult. Like, whiskey. All right, my lord. And now I've lost my page. Thank you, Sebastian. Jerk. Contract with Claude, he said. You would rather have a contract with that subpar demon. Well, he certainly wouldn't be sharpening a knife near me. Sebastian! 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 My lord. Don't you think it would be a good idea to engrave my name on the bullets? No, it isn't. Your revenge campaign is almost over. You'll likely be dead by the end of the week. You should consider these your final days. There'll be no point engraving your name on anything because no one will remember you. You'll be long gone. Now come, I must be present. What just happened? Are you really going to eat me? Of course. That is our deal. But I could at least have like five years. Hey! Did you hear that conversation with me and Sebastian? Oh, yeah, you're dead. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs>